Hello again. We are the Vinyl Community Gunkles back for another year of tops and bottoms, our favorite and least favorite songs from a particular year. The year that was drawn out this time around was 19. 64 so uh, hopefully you know at least a few songs from that year even though it was quite a while ago i mean it's not like you have to be alive from the year that you know music from that would be ridiculous to think something like that uh considering that there are at least three people on this panel that we're not even alive but we have plenty of songs that we know and love from the year 1964 and we are the vinyl community gunkles i'm robert fifth and along with mike from hub tunes craig from craig's vinyl plethora and ladies and gentlemen the little boy that sat right in front of his TV when the Ed Sullivan show was on and couldn't wait to see Topo Gigio, Richard from Calvin Wazoo. Topo Gigio? Who the fuck that is that? Is. I don't even know what that is. Shout out to everybody who knows who Topo Gigio is. <laughs> he was on the Ed Sullivan show quite a bit. He was on when uh, the Beatles were on in that yeah, same probably. episode. Yeah, he was on like every. I think he was on all the time. Every episode. It's a talking mouse, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, I don't remember. We watched the Ed Sullivan it. show all the time. I don't know that I've ever seen. I've seen. Watch like, Topo yeah. Gigio. Turned it off when the Beatles came on. It's Topo, Topo Gigio. Yeah, that's exactly how he would say it. Uh, all mouse. right, Richard is. Uh, or no, Craig's first. Craig's going. Me. With the tops of 1964. Yes, I have a top 13. <laughs> no honorable mentions. That's I had a couple that I thought I was going to. Some honorable mentions later? Oh, yeah. Or dishonorable. coming. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, I guess maybe it's good that mine's not yeah, my, normal, my normal, you know, 20-something. Okay, number 13, the Ronettes with Walking in the Rain. Like walking in the rain. Oh, it's so I good. I'm so in love. I know the version by Flash in the Pan. Erasure covered it too. Uh, but I knew Ronettes first. Okay. Number 12, the George, the George, the George, the George Jones with the races on. And the races on. And the races on. Pride of the back. Oh, the race, good yeah. Times, going in the land, land. yeah, I know that song. That's a great song. song. Yeah. Um, my dad oddly had a George Jones tape, which he didn't like music with words. So I don't know why he had this. But I remember it was like a greatest hits. And the song was the first song on it. And so I just always, it was fun. And I think he re-recorded it in the 80s, though, I think. Sawyer Brown did it in the early nineties. The great yeah, I know who did it, but it, but it was definitely a, it was definitely a George Jones. But I felt like he re-recorded it. But I could be wrong about that. I thought yeah, he, he re-recorded a bunch of his stuff when he yeah. went to a different label. Uh, number eleven, Dave Clark Five with "I'm a Pieces, Bits and Pieces." I, I love that song so good, and of course, Joan Jack covered it. But oh, Dave sorry. Clark, yeah, so good. Number 10, I feel like, I, you know, it's got to be on my list. So good. Um, Stan Getz with Estrud Gilberto with the girl from Iponema. And she's the best. I just adore her so very, very much. And I'm out of breath and I don't know what's going on. I think I'm dying. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> it's been a week. Anyways, number nine. Shirley Alice with the name game. It's a great song. Hopefully it's, your name's not Chuck. <laughs> I was, well, Chuck, Chuck, Bo Buck, Banana Fan. Yep. We used to do that all the time. But what kid did not do that? I, or Mitch. Uh, Mitch, Mitch Bo Bitch. My, my friend Sylvester never sang that song. <clears throat> if he's watching, he, we talk about it all the time. No, he did not like There's it. There's only one word that rhymes with Sylvester. Sylvester, Vester, Bo, Vester, Banan. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Poor Sylvester. Yeah. yeah. Uh, He's traumatized. Poor guy. Uh, number eight would be Betty Everett with It's In His Kiss, the shoot, shoot song. Hmm. It's another one I think of my mom. She loved it so much. Um, her and my sister and my nieces did a little routine to it for their 50, my parents' 15th wedding anniversary. So it's just always one of those. It's going to be in my brain. Number seven would be the Beatles with I Should Have Known Better. Uh, 
That's a good one. Number six. Mm. Nina Simone. Oh, my Nina Simone. Don't let me be misunderstood. Ooh, is, ooh. Oh, and the way she sings it and just, ooh. <clears throat> that, oh, Nina Simone just, she melts my butter. I ain't I'll have butter. to hear that. Wow. Huh? I said, I'll have to hear that. I don't know if have I've you, ever heard that. You I think I've heard. Oh, my God. Her, yeah. I mean, anything's uh, going to be an improvement over Eric Burden, for God's sakes. Anyway. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, her version. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. And just, oh, well, Nina Simone, she can just do. She's going to make anything probably better. So uh, number five would be the Supremes with Come See About Me. Come see about me. That song just, oh. I just get, see, look, yeah. I'm dancing, just thinking about it. Come see about me. See about it. Okay, number four, another one. My mom, it makes me think of the 80s, even though this song is not from the 80s, but she used to drag me to her jazzercise aerobic classes, and I had to sit and watch her and all these old ladies do their jazzercising, and it was, uh, it's probably why I'm so scarred is probably why I'm gay because I had to watch. All I was going to say, why... now he's gay. Thanks, mom. Yeah, these middle aged women bound. This is why you don't have grandchildren. And they're leotards. <laughs> oh, she has plenty Jazzicize. of grandchildren, if not from me. Um, <laughs> the ad libs with the boy from New York City. Ooh, wow. Oh, cool, cool kitty. Tell us about the boy from New York City. I don't remember that. Yeah, that's the man. Tell us about the boy from New York City. You don't. He's kind of wrong. So good. Can always count on you with some very obscure songs from. Oh, that's not obscure. I just don't know. Well, no. Well, I am obscure. So. Number three, Roy Orbison with It's Over. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, fuck what a great song so good roy orbinson like i uh, yeah mm -hmm. so so just so good um who did morrissey did a cover of that song oh i bet that sucked I, I actually quite <laughs> it's over it. it's over it's over no he's not doing that <laughs> Oh. Um, and it actually doesn't sound much like the original, but I think it's wonderful. But <laughs> is better, of course. Number two, another one. This makes me think of my mom and dad. This was uh, a song that um, my dad uh, kind of dedicated to my mother, um, Jim Reeves. I adore Jim Reeves, have my whole life again because of my mom. Um, and I love you because, but most of all, I love you because you're you. And my dad would say that to my mom all the time. And it was very cute and sweet. And it's cool. just a really sweet, cute, lovey song. And number one for me, Sam Cooke with A Change Is Gonna Come. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sam Cooke. Yeah. That voice. voice. I mean, it's no Otis, but oh, that voice. Mm. I like Sam Cooke's voice a lot more than Otis. Really? I, Otis? Yeah. Just, uh, I, like, I mean, I love Otis Sam. Otis writing to me is a lot of grunting and, and growling. And stuff. I like yeah, the, the more I, of the soulful. I think the growling is what does it for me with Otis. But yeah, oh, Otis. I like Otis's I, live records better than his studio stuff. <sighs> yeah, Otis. Ooh. But yeah, well, Otis and Sam, they're kind of, yeah. I pulled some records. And I, you know, like 64 was like, the beginning of the LP that's you know, and that's directly attributed to the Beatles. I mean, when the Beatles came now, all of a sudden people are making records, not just 45s. And yeah, before that it was all show was... soundtracks and jazz and yeah. Yeah. Classical. You know, and, and, and there was some terrific jazz releases in 64. Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't, I did too, but I could have done 20 great jazz records that came out in 64, but I, I spared Robert. Um, but it was, a, it was a year where like all of a sudden bands were making one, two, some of them putting out three records. And of course it was this band, we, you know, Hard Day's Night came out and, you know, you had the great movie soundtrack and this came out, Beatles for Sale came out the same year. Unbelievable. Two of the greatest albums ever recorded and a movie. 
And I, the, these are my two favorite. I mean, Hard Day's Night is my favorite of the early records. I, I, I love this, you know. This, this has some of their best songs on it, especially the early years, you know. And I like, I like, I like Beatles for Sale, too. It's got some great songs on it, but it also has some that I'm like, eh. Yeah, a couple of the covers they do, I, I don't need to hear. And then the Rolling Stones debut. And the better of the two, 12 by 5. Great record. I love this record. This is one. And, you know, and these are all blues covers. You know, mostly, I don't think there's any. Uh, on the first wrong. one, they're, they're all blues covers, yeah. Yeah, this one. 12 by 5 has got one or two. It's a Jagger song. And this one, I don't think has any. Yeah. But uh, 12, 12 by 5 is definitely the better of the two that came out in 64. They, 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 your they, kicks. Yeah. yeah, they do Around and Around, Good Times, Bad Times. It's all over now. Uh, Under the Boardwalk is terrible. Uh, they do a Suzy Q. They do a version of Suzy Q that's great that people don't kind of remember because it's the last song and it's but it's really good. Um, so yeah, definitely this is the better of the two. Bob Dylan, two records in the 1964. Times they are changing. He's still you know acoustic folk. Uh, what else is on here? Uh, the Lonesome Death of Hattie Carroll's on here. Um, Ballad of Hollis Brown, North Country Blues. Uh, great record and then he releases another side of bob dylan and this has uh, all i really want to do and spanish harlem incident uh chimes of freedom this is the better of the two <laughs> and it ain't me babe is on here excellent records these guys are cranking out records you know a lot of and and that would happen a lot you know for the next couple of years you know bands and beatles were putting out two records a year for like three straight years you know same with the stones uh, in the U.S., you had uh, Meet the Beatles and the Beatles' second album, you know, finally coming to the U.S., so you had, like, yeah. five, you know, Beatles albums yeah. in one. And the, Be the Beach six. Boys were doing the same thing, too, you know, just cranking out, you know, record companies were forcing them to. Uh, I did two two jazz records uh, because these are two, of, these two jazz records are in my top five favorites of all time. This is Lee Morgan, The Sidewinder, uh, definitely his most popular record. Great, great record. I'm a big fan of did I do that, Richard? No. <laughs> uh, I'm a big fan of his trumpet playing. I, I'm, I, I'm a trumpet guy. I, I, I like saxophone, but trumpet, I, I just adore. And then my, this is actually my second favorite record of all time, and this is uh, Herbie Hancock's uh, Inventions and Dimensions. This is a piano jazz record. This is funky and weird, and it's just terrific. Absolutely wonderful. There's no horns on here, Robert. You would love this. This is uh, Inventions and Dimensions by uh, Herbie Hancock. Love this record. And that's really all I pulled. I could have pulled a few other things, but, you know, I don't have a lot of records from me. I had some Supremes. I figured Craig would talk about the Supremes. And, um, yeah, but, you know, it, it was the beginning of the LP. You know, it was just starting to come around and, you know, and selling. So, 1964. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm doing singles, which is something I don't normally do. And I got a lot of them. I got a lot of honorable mentions, and I've got 15 tops. So I'm going to go through them quickly here. But um, it was such a great time for singles. And a lot of these I remember. Um, I mean, you know, I was only six years old, but some of these songs, I, I still have vivid memories of them. So with the honorable mention, starting off with Dusty Springfield, I Only Want to Be With You. Um, then yeah. you've got Etta James, Baby, What You Want Me to Do. Damn, that woman could sing. Um, and then a little unknown song of Michigan lore, Saginaw, Michigan by Lefty Frizzell. Really? Uh, pretty yeah. decent song. Leslie Gore, You Don't Own Me, You Don't Own Me. And then... Hookah Tuka, Chubby Checker. Uh, he had a lot of he had a lot of hits that year. Um, Sam and Dean with Dead Man's Curve. Uh, Sam Cooke with Good News. Um, of course, the girl from Ipanema, Stan Getz and Esther Gilberto. I loved this song when it came out. Elvis Presley, Viva Las Vegas. Oh yeah, yeah, the movie and everything. I mean, that was just. Viva, that definitely Vegas. is one of his better uh, movies. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, B.B. King, Rock Me Baby, had that uh, as, a, as a hit single. And then uh, Little GTO, Ronnie in the Daytonas. Um, then Jan and Dean, Little Old Lady from Pasadena. Uh, Baby, I Need Your Lovin' from the uh, Four Tops. Uh, Manfred Mann goes all the way back to 1964 with Do What Diddy Diddy. Dumb Diddy Do. Yeah. Walking down the street saying, do what? Mm -hmm. um, I think of the Roy two Orbison, two Oh, Pretty Woman. A big hit uh, then. Uh, the Rolling Stones, It's All Over Now. That was a really good uh, hit uh, that they had there. Um, I'm on the outside looking in. Little Anthony and the Imperials. You remember mm -hmm. Little Anthony and the Imperials? No. Um, Tears on my pillow was their big. Tears on the pillow. Oh, I know that song because <laughs> Kylie did it. Cool. Um, by you. <laughs> this is another song that they're probably more well known for another song. But the Kingsmen, Death of an Angel. That was a really big uh, hit for right. them. Nashville Teens with their song tobacco road i mean that's a song that's been done by so many people but, so many times you know for yeah. 1964 they did a hell of a good job with that song uh leader of the pack the shangri-las um herman's hermits i mean i'm into something good um the animals boom boom uh and then the animals i'm crying um animals had a lot of great hits that year Righteous Brothers, you lost that love and feeling. No way, no. Um, Petula Clark with ever. Downtown was released in December, um, I think, of 63, <coughs> but it charted in 64. Um, the Kinks, same thing, all day and all of the night. Uh, I've got to remember that song so well. And then uh, Surfenberg, yeah, that was released in uh, 1963, but it charted in 64. The Trashman. Oh, the video for that. If you haven't seen that video of the Trashman doing the surfing bird, do yourself a favor and check that out. Now, before I do the top singles, my notable news and events, I really focused on the Beatles because I'm not putting any Beatles in, in, in uh, my list because, my God, you, you'd be Beatles, Beatles, Beatles. Because yeah. um, the week ending March 21st, the Beatles had four hits in the top ten. Uh, she Loves You, I Want to Hold Your Hand, Please Please Me, and Twist and Shout. Then the week ending April 4th, they had sewed up the top five singles with Can't Buy Me Love, Twist and Shout, She Loves You, I Want to Hold Your Hand, and Please Please Me. Um, and then uh, the number one hit of my birthday in July was I Get Around by the Beach Boys. Around, get around. So, number 15 of my tops. Going out of my head with Little Anthony and the Imperials. Um, sweet, sweet song. Then the Zombies at number 14, but she's not there. Oh. Uh, number 13, Rolling Stones, Time is on my side. <clears throat> Baby Love, The Supremes at number 12. <laughs> You really got me going, the kinks, at number 11. And number 10, the animals with going to send you back to Waka, girl. Then at number nine, dancing in the streets, the Martha and the Vandellas. Vandellas. Nice. That was great, great song. None of those other covers that David Bowie and Mick Jagger did, oh, the Grateful the Dead one. did. I mean, oh my God, the mamas and the papas is the worst. Uh, oh, and they start talking in this stupid. It's like, what the hell are the you doing? The yeah. Van Halen one sucks too. And that made and that made their you know their their greatest hits release. Anyway, number eight, The House of the Rising Sun, The Animals. Good uh, then number seven, Where Did Our Love Go, The Supremes. Um, number six, Under the Boardwalk uh, by the Drifters. I remember that 45. We had that 45. <laughs> um, Dionne Warwick at number five. Walk on by. What a song. What a song. Um, the Searchers at number four, Needles and Pins. Mm -hmm. uh, just love that song. 
And I love this song at number three, Pete Seeger, Little Boxes. Little Boxes. Made it ticky tacky. Made it ticky tacky. Yeah, just uh, my probably one of my first protest songs as a kid. It was the theme song. It was the theme song for that. Uh, TV and they show. all look weeds, weeds. Well, little weeds, boxes uh, on. And Jenny Lewis covered it. Little boxes on it. That's why I know it. <laughs> yeah, and there really were houses like that. Tacky, tacky. Oh yeah. Jeez. Number two with Rufus Thomas. Can your monkey do the dog? Just great song. I just Never love, love that. that song. And then number one uh, for 19, it was again released in 1963, but it charted in 64 and it was in the charts for many, many weeks. Uh, and that's The Kingsman with Louie Louie, um, a song where the singing was so garbled that it got censored because they thought it was pornographic. <laughs> Fuck that girl! All kinds of ways. <laughs> I feel my bone in her hair. That was That's a, a good place for it. Have you ever read me. the FBI lyrics? Oh, it, it, this online. is totally insane. Oh, yeah, totally insane. I feel I my bone in her hair. Well, there you go. Those are my tops. Okay, oh. well, I tried to keep mine as short as possible, so I made up a bunch of rules. Uh, first of all, no Beatles because they had like twenty-eight like charted songs in the U S in 1964, because you had all of their previous hits in England now charting in the U S for the first time. So they had the new stuff coming out, the old stuff that was charting in the U S so no Beatles. You know, obviously Beatles are great. Everybody loves the Beatles. I was obsessed with the Beatles for like two and a half years, but I did not put any Beatles except in my bottoms, which we'll discuss. Uh, there is a uh, Beatles in there. <clears throat> um, so I also I didn't do any I, I only did songs that debuted on the hot Billboard Hot 100 chart in the U.S. So no England only songs, no country or R&B songs unless they crossed over to the pop chart, and they had to debut in 1964. So nothing that came out in 1963 and uh, was held over. So with all that, I was able to get it down to a top 20. And 44 honorable mentions. So that's 64 for 64. <laughs> oh. I will try to go through these as quickly as possible. There was a lot of fun songs in 1964, really though. Yeah, really Dead good. Man's Curve continuing the dead teenager trend of the 60s. This one is a little better, though, from Jan and Dean. The Vibrations with My Girl Sloopy, the early version of Hang On Sloopy that was later done um, by uh, the uh, of, uh, McCoys. Jerry Wallace in the misty moonlight by the thick flicking firelight. Chuck Berry with Promised Land. Chuck Berry with no particular place to go. Kind of a comeback year for him. He'd been off the scene for a few years since the 50s and came back with a few strong hits in 1964. Walk Don't Run, the 1964 version from The Ventures. You're No Good from Betty Everett. I do like the <clears throat> other version better from D.D. Uh, what was her name? D.D. Warwick. But the Betty Everett, You're No Good is pretty good as well. Tracy Day, Gonna Get Along Without You Now. Got along okay. without you before? Gonna Get Along Without You Now. Craig would probably like that song. The without you now. I know that song. Okay, that's a good one. Um, the Shangri-Las, give him a great big kiss. Roy Orbison, it's over, it's over, it's over. No one says it's over like Roy Orbison. Mm -hmm. Bernadette Carroll with Party Girl. She is broken up with her boyfriend and it's party time. She's going to go to all the parties. She's going to go around the world. So apparently it's that kind of party. Wow. Uh, Terry Stafford trying to be Elvis Presley with Suspicion, a later song that Elvis Presley actually did as an album track, The Ronettes. Craig mentioned this one, Walking in the Rain, the Dave Clark Five. Any way you want it, you can have me any day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Marvin Gaye, baby, don't you do it. Don't. Don't. One mm -hmm. of the greatest titles ever from Marvin uh -huh. Gaye. Baby, don't you do it. Out of Sight from James Brown, Ronnie and the Daytonas. Mm -hmm. Little GTO, Tell me you're coming back from the Rolling Stones. The Larks with the jerk. Hey, 
what you do one of my mother's favorite songs it was a country song but it did cross over richard already mentioned it lefty frizzell and saginaw michigan great story song kind of a great uh, twist ending aretha 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 franklin was running out of fools which oh, is what yeah. she says at the end of the song respect she doesn't say you're running out of food she says you're running out of fools and i ain't lying she's refer referencing her earlier song here the oh, riviera is with cute. california sun the dave clark five can't you see she's mine i own her look at my name is branded on her we've been together for a long long time the temptations the way you do the things you do very very clever lyrics one of the most clever motown songs with you know if you, if you were a boy you would have been a can if you had a you would have been a handle or whatever uh the shoop shoop song it's in his kiss betty everett dusty springfield wishing and hoping a song that says that prayer doesn't work so you got to appreciate that in 1964 um the new beats with bread and butter the dave clark five because usually the dave clark five very boisterous very rocking and they show that they can do a nice love song too eddie holland with leaving here later redone by the who and motorhead but eddie holland had the original soulful version buck owens crossed over with my heart <laughs> skips a beat when we walk down the street <laughs> leslie gore maybe i know he's been cheating and he's been untrue but two shits is what Leslie Gore couldn't give about that. Brenda Holloway, Every Little Bit Hurts. Great soulful song there. Another Chuck Berry comeback. Nadine, is it you? Needle Finding a good man, girl, is like finding a needle in a haystack. So say the Velvelettes. The Impressions featuring Curtis Mayfield. And I'm so proud. What a great wedding song that would make. Uh, <laughs> Chuck Berry again. You never can tell. Say la vie, say the old folks. Oh. Chad Jeremy with a summer song which is great to listen to in the summertime bb king and rock me baby rock me like my back ain't got no bone mm -hmm. usually that's better sung by a woman but it's bb king singing like it, so it's kind of the okay we won't get into that uh the dave clark five boom boom glad all over uh the searchers with needles and pins i saw here today i saw here face it was a face i love elvis presley viva las vegas the swinging blue jeans mm -hmm. with hippie hippie shake for goodness sake good times from sam cook what a great song that these are all great songs baby i need your loving got to have all, your, all loving. your loving uh the four tops i like the four tops better than the, than the <coughs> temptations martha and the vandellas dancing in the street another one of those songs that's uh was really kind of a coded uh protest song mm -hmm. uh, from what i understand this one might surprise some people. I'm even surprised that this guy and this song is on my list, but I love it. And it's so sad. It used to literally make me cry. Bobby Venton and Mr. Lonely. Oh, I still can't really listen to that song without it. <laughs> oh. I'm a soldier. I mean, that most soldiers are away from home. They're thinking about their girl. They got their photograph. This guy doesn't even have a girl. He's on his own. If he lives or die in the war, it doesn't matter. That's how lonely this guy is. That's, that's oh, pretty sad. Man. The Dave Clark Five with Bits and Pieces. Etta James, baby, what you want me to do? Elvis Presley redid that. Uh, Jimmy Reed did that. But Etta James does a really good version of that. The Kinks, All Day and All of the Night. Dusty Springfield, if Terry had the list, this would probably be on his number one position. I only want to be with you. Hermits, Hermits, something tells me I'm into something good. Millie Small, one of the first uh, reggae type uh, songs. And my boy Lollipop. You make my heart go giddy up. My boy, <laughs> intonation yep. matters with that song title. Yeah, and it's not the lollipop, lollipop, pop. I don't like that one. This is this is my boy, lollipop. My That's boy, and it is good. It the is honeycomb. Good. Wait a minute. We've entered the top. I forget. We've entered the top uh, twenty here. Like oh, like Mr. Lonely oh. actually. So we're up to number fourteen. Oh, and we're up to number thirteen now. It's the honeycombs. And have I the right? I love that guitar thing or whatever that is making that noise in that song. They're from England. And they are um, had the distinction of having one of the first female drummers of oh. all time. Oh, Honey wow. Landry. And uh, she uh, used to have stuff thrown at her. And used to she got chased off stage a few times because people did not want a girl drumming. But she huh. drummed anyway. Her brother was the bassist. And he was a big I guy. I prefer them. Beat, beat people up that would try to like run her off the show. Uh, Roy Orbison, Oh, Pretty Woman, or just known as Pretty Woman on some of the later 45s. The Rolling Stones with Time is on My Side. The guitar version, not the organ version. There's two versions of that. The Supremes with Where Did Our Love Go? Baby, baby. Baby, baby. You really got me from the Kinks is at number nine. The Shangri-Las are at number eight with Remember, Walking in the Sand. Remember, I, I think that song was repopularized uh, with TikTok. 
I and, think that a lot of the young people use the oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh no. yes, and it's <laughs> annoying. Yeah, there's a new not that down. song, but the TikToky bullshit. But TikTok ruins everything. So another ahead. song that was originally about the boy goes off to Vietnam. That's why he's not there. And it was originally had like three more verses, which would have made it like five and a half minutes long, but they didn't do all those verses and cut it way down. But it was originally another song about Vietnam. Uh, the Zombies with a song about masturbation at number seven called She's Not There. Um, which apparently is what I've heard that song's about. It's about a girl that it's a pretend girlfriend, basically. Makes number sense. six, proving that theory that even a broken clock is right twice a day. The Beach Boys have two good songs. This is one of them. And they it's even good enough to make the top ten. At number six, I get around. Um, the Righteous Brothers, one of the first songs I ever heard in my whole life. You lost that love and feeling at number five. You never close your... I was always wondered, like, I always thought it was, when I was real, I mean, I was like two or three when I first heard that. I thought it was a monster singing. Uh oh. You know, because you'd see cartoons with monsters singing, and I don't know anything because I'm two and a half years old. I literally thought it was a, like a monster guy singing. You never close your... And it's all um, echoey too, like he's in a dungeon or something. Well, fun fact <laughs> about you lost that loving feeling. Did you know that there is a duet cover of that? With Neil yeah, Diamond. by the Righteous Brothers. No, 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 no. <laughs> Neil Diamond and Dolly Parton did a cover of that oh, song. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. It's yeah, not that. The, the but Phil Spector wall that. of noise sound there with the echoey echo chamber. The Supremes in Baby Love is at baby number four. Baby love, my baby at number love. three, another one of the first songs I ever heard, Leader of the Pack from the Shangri-Las. You have to have the version where the motorcycle accident is louder, though. Oh, no. No. Look, out, look out, look out, look out. Right. Yeah. Not to be confused yeah. with Leader of the Laundromat from the Detergents. That's the parody. <laughs> oh, you know, like I like that. that. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Too. <laughs> Leader of the Laundromat. And number two, uh, you know, if I was a grown adult when I first heard this song, it probably wouldn't even be in my top 50, but I was a child when I first heard this, and I still love this song. The mono version, the stereo version, the claps are too low. So go with the mono version of the Dixie Cups and Chapel of Love, Love. my mm. number two song from 1964. Heard and that. that just leaves one. And since there's no Beatles, that means the Rolling Stones are at number one with a cover of Bobby Womack's song, It's All Over Now, my favorite song of 1964, later covered and made a country hit by John Anderson. <sighs> And he's a play, he's saying high class game, not half ass game. So if people get oh, that, not high. Oh, he's not saying high class gay. High class game, playing her. Oh, high class I, thought game. Was, I thought they were playing for a high class gay. But no, you know, well, I mean, no, she right, won. Right. If Mick Jagger's yeah. singing anyway, um, okay. it's all over now from the Rolling Stones. My favorite song of 1964, and that's all of our favorite songs of 1964. Those are the tops. Uh, each of us uh, gave uh, you uh, ours, and now it's time to discuss the worst songs worst. of 1964 yes. with our bottoms. I really couldn't find a lot that I felt was like worse or terrible or horrible. I just found some that I was like, well, you know, um, like the Rolling Stones cover of Under the Boardwalk. Why? I, yeah. I don't I don't really need to say anything other than oh Mikey was so upset he left for a second. Um yeah, not good. Why? Um Lauren Green from Bonanza. <laughs> yeah. Um Green. yeah, his, his story talking, <laughs> it's almost as bad as like when John made his album. But uh yeah, Ringo and you know, Lauren, he saved the life of the Ringo and oh it's just and it, there was an entire album so imagine i'm sure it was just as great as that just stay on bonanza dude don't yeah um and then i'd never heard of this person and then i made the mistake of listening to this and it was very is it a joke i don't know someone named ian whitcomb with you turn me on um, he is panting and gasping and he's high pitching singing and off key. And, um, he's saying, you know, come on and do the jerk with me. I know. Yeah. That was, I, I know that, was, that in your I know room. that was a dance, but, um, sure. was it? he was, sure you, do. uh, you know, the do the jerk. 
do the twist, do the shake, do the how to do the jerk. Mm-hmm. I'm a floozy. What? It's it just you know how to do the jerk. I don't. Well, is that what it is? It that dance? How would I know? know? Oh, is that the jerk? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I probably could. I know how to do the Freddy. Do the Freddy. Well, you do the Freddy with your legs. Yeah, my leg and your hands. You can't you do sit down arm. and do the Freddy. Well, I'm I'm doing <laughs> my legs, but you can't see them because I'm sitting down. But I'm doing oh, the okay. shut up. Um, that's all I got for that. I'm sure there is so much more terribleness from 1964, but um, that's what I have you boys for. Yeah, I'm yeah. terrible, Mikey. There are a lot of videos of him doing this song. <laughs> I think it was Including a big hit one in on England, French right? TV. Yeah, it's a it's an English hit. It's I not think, an American. I don't know. It just it came up, and I was like, I looked at it, and I kind of regretted my decision. So, Mikey. <laughs> well, when Robert was introducing us, and he said we'll be talking about the tops and bottoms of 1964. I realized I didn't do any bottoms. Uh oh. So I only did half my assignment. Apparently, I will be in detention for a mm. week. So no. no. I mean, how much? How many bottoms can there be? I mean, we just named the three of you just named off about two hundred songs. Right, <laughs> and so love. it's like you know, even the the sixty four. I mean, everything was so fun and whatever, and we were all so young and in well, I mean, when we first heard the songs, yes. we were young and yeah. innocent. Yes, we were and, young. Uh, you know, it was hard to come up with stuff like, yeah. I hate this or whatever. We're not that jaded yet in our lives. No, yeah, that's true. That's much, much later. Well, I definitely got a bottom here. You got one bottom? Yeah, I got one bottom. Mm. Oh. And it's a doozy. That's all you need. It's a doozy. Yeah. See, this was 1964. This was an era where um, White people like to think they had this ability to portray other people and, you know, and be taken seriously. You know, Mickey well, Rooney. About Eric Burden. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like Mickey Rooney and Breakfast at <laughs> Tiffany's uh, playing Mr. Unioshi, you know. Uh, so it, it, it just yeah, became a... sort of a, you know, a, a whole joke a stereotype. You know, you're just doing a Unioshi. Well, Bobby Goldsboro had a hit song called Me Japanese Boy, I no. Love You. No. Yes. There's a real song, Me, yes. Me Japanese Boy. And it charted. It charted. And it's a white person doing it, right? Oh, it's Bobby Goldsboro. I don't, know. I don't know who Bobby Goldsboro <laughs> is. It's not Bobby Farron. But that doesn't sound Bobby, Bobby Goldsboro. Honey, I miss you, and I hope you're doing good. And I'd and, love to be with you. And this charted only... at, how high did this chart? <laughs> oh, I didn't write down um, that. Oh. But I, I mean, he's it, not it, it, I think he got in the top 25. Oh my God, what is wrong so, with Isn't um, he also Tell Laura I Love Her? Tell Laura I Love Her. Uh, so oh. that that's my bottom. It, it was of that era that a lot of uh, entertainers <laughs> really thought that they could do that. and. And it was common um, for it was comedy. You know, uh, it was nineteen fifty seven when Bo Diddley. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Eric Burden. Now you can go back to what you were doing before. Appreciate that. But anyway, <laughs> I have a bottom. It's House of oh. the Rising Sun, but um, because that should be sung by a woman. But uh, yeah, uh, the mm -hmm. other bottom is uh, Little Children by Billy J. Kramer. Oh yeah, I saw that. I didn't. Oh, listen. What a that. freaky little. I mean, little children. Keep my secret. Don't tell anyone. I'm watching this girl. It's, it's very Ew. creepy. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's very odd. Um, but I said that the rest of um, the bottoms are Beatles. <clears throat> I said I had Beatles in my bottoms. <laughs> but uh, That sounds uncomfortable. Yeah. You, need a, you, need a, you need an antibiotic. I need an ex exterminator. You need an enema. Uh, not songs by the Beatles, though. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Songs about the Beatles. And there were no oh. fewer than four of them that charted on the Hot 100 in 1964. And these are just the ones with Beatles in the title. There were also songs about the Beatles that don't mention Beatles in the title. These are just the ones with Beatles in the title. Two of them about the Beatles' hair. Like, oh. My Boyfriend Got a Beatle Haircut by Donna Lynn. 
Sounds and nice. he's so cool. My boyfriend got a beetle haircut. Now she loves him even more. And he's the rage of the That's school. Cool. And she's going to get a beetle haircut too. My question is, how do you get a beetle haircut in 1964? Think about it. How do you, in 1964, if you're a guy, get a beetle hair cut? <laughs> Think about it. Is You see what I'm saying? I guess. Um, Your, yeah. The whole thing about the Beatles was they had long hair. Right. So how do you get a beetle yeah, hair yeah, cut? Yeah. Well, uh, your yeah. Your hair would have to be really whole, long. Right. You, the whole thing is you let your hair grow so you could look mm. like the Beatles. You don't so get a beetle's hair So maybe they need to get a, a beetle hair grow. Right. A girl I'm could gonna, get a beetle's hair cut. They the could. The no boy's going to get a beetle hair grow. Yes, I'm overanalyzing songs. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> novelty songs from 1964. The Swans had the boy with the beetle hair. And of course, he was the best and then whatever. The uh, Carefree's had We Love You Beatles, oh, which yeah, was done to the Beatles. Bye Bye Birdie Beatles. song, We Love yep. You Conrad, I, or whatever. We love you, Beatles. Beatles. Oh, yes, we do. And when you're and, not near us. And, but, you know, those are just nonsense people that just had that novelty song. They also had a, an established group called the Four Preps who actually had hits yes. before the Beatles came along. And they were not happy about the Beatles coming along and changing the face of music because now they're a bunch of dorks and can't get chart attention anymore. So they have a letter to the Beatles and they're making fun of the Beatles. And they're saying that the Beatles aren't sincere and the Beatles, you know, are all about making money and uh, the, the lock of Beatles hair again, Beatles hair. Uh, you send it in and we don't really like our fans. We just want our fans money. And yeah, uh, good, good job for preps. You really showed the Beatles. They did. Yeah. Those four preps. Mm. Uh, they really <laughs> got them. Uh, so yeah, those are my bottoms from 1964. I hate songs where bands sing about other bands yeah it, it irritates like me. peter paul I don't know and mary why. i dig rock and roll music yeah they do yeah. dig rock and roll music no, they don't that's There's the whole point they song. don't and they were making fun of it this topic just came up this week because uh jesus and mary chain have a new album out yeah and it's, and it's pretty good but smack dab in the middle of this album is a song called the eagles and the beatles yeah, I saw that. It is yeah. absolutely made me not want to. Yeah, it made me horrible. not want to listen. It, it is. Yeah. It, it's cringeworthy. There's uh, a lot of like punk bands and shit like that. They would make fun of like rock bands, like Pink Floyd. It's kind of making fun. And but... it's just like I never care. If, it's like no, not into it. No. Nah, Do your own neither. thing. Be your own people. You'll be old someday too, and people will make fun of you, and you won't like. And they don't. And and the Jesus and Mary Chain are old now, so I don't yeah. know what the hell they're making fun of. Yeah. But yeah. Good yeah, time. I'm not very impressed with that new release. So it's actually there's some pretty there's some really good songs on it, but then there's a couple. I haven't of listened yet. Stinkers, so. they're not very good. So yeah, that went by pretty quick for 200 songs. <laughs> no, <wait. laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> 1964. What a fun year! Uh, what year are we doing next? 1982. 1982. Wow, that would be a lot of uh, that would be the, the yacht rock as it's called now. Freshman year in high school. Hair metal, new wave. Hair metal is not, not quite yet a thing yet. Quite we're yet. still new wave of British yeah. metal, so we're still like Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, Scorpion. Um, Saxon, Scorpions. Yeah, hair metal hasn't happened. And new wave, big. Definitely new wave. Yeah, be right in the middle. Yeah, new that. wave. That'll be a top music video 97 or... for me, probably. <laughs> you know, the 80s. That's my it's longest. 1982, clip. the year of the nylon curtain from Billy Joel. Ugh. Oh, that had pressure. That's number one for fifth. In. Did that have pressure on it? Yes. Yeah, that's a great song. That is. So is Allentown. Is it? <laughs> oh, Allentown. But that's the one with the nakeds in the video, right? Yeah, the locker yeah. room. Yeah, nakeds in the video. Michael Jackson Thriller was released late mm -hmm. in 1982. Mm -hmm. It was most, mostly thought of as a 1983 thing, but it, it came out in 1982. Yeah, yeah. right before Christmas, right? Yeah, like November, late November, I think, or yeah. something like that. But yeah. I remember that. Toto 4, 1982. Oh. Good stuff. Oh. Not Be really. Fun. Toto. 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 Oh. Music was taking itself very seriously 
I think a lot of it in 1982 with the we're yeah. very sophisticated. We're not, and then you had the opposite side of that with like the new wave and whatever silly music videos. And, and did, did we have MTV in '82? When did MTV? Yeah, 80, did, 80, August first, nine, one? 1981. 1981. Okay. So yeah, we'll discuss uh, the tops and bottoms of 1982 coming up. We've also got our playlist battle where we'll talk about our favorite songs from the monkeys on the way and yeah. uh if that's not enough we'll uh review an album from pj harvey called to give you my love that michael recommended we'll hear all yep. about that mm -hmm. it's got that one song on there i don't like i wonder if i'll mm -hmm. like the rest of it you love i wonder it. that song about little fishy in the water well that's your favorite song no but... that's not at all little <laughs> fishies made of ticky tacky <laughs> and yeah, the like, ticky tacky speaking of the monkeys that's kind of like pleasant valley sunday but um that song you know about the suburban mm -hmm. you know yeah. homogenization yeah. but uh, yeah thanks for joining yeah. us we are the vinyl community gunkles hopefully you enjoyed our tops and bottoms of 1964 and will join us again next time i'm robert fifth and along with richard at kelvin wazoo craig's vinyl plethora mike at hub tunes hopefully we'll talk to you again thanks for watching i hope don't forget to leave a comment. <laughs> mm -hmm.